after after Cochabamba, we went and saw spent a little bit of time in some other cities. So we went from Cochabamba to uh, Potosi, and unfortunately, we were gonna fly directly to Potosi, but then they went up canceling all the flights to Potosi for the for like a week, um, right at the time we wanted to go, and so we had to fly into Sucre and then get a taxi from Sucre to Potosi. Which I actually kind of liked because the taxi ride, they kind of took us through the back country for a little bit. And it was, it was uh, really pretty to kind of drive around Potosi. It made Britta kind of sick. Yeah. yeah. You didn't like that as much. No. I thought it was really pretty. But it's like, if you know Spanish, it's really easy to get around Bolivia. Just because yeah. taxi drivers are really nice and they're really cheap and, and everyone's pretty friendly. Yeah. That's true. Knowing Spanish is... Pretty but, cute, but like I don't know Spanish cheap. so if I was alone I don't think I'd be able to get around very well because no one really knows English all that much yeah and it really is super cheap like between Potosi and Sucre is like a two and a half three hour drive and it only costs like thirty dollars for a two and a half or three hour taxi ride which is a pretty good deal I think yeah but we so we drove to <laughs> Potosi and Potosi, what is the elevation of Potosi? Really high. It's like, it's like 14,000 feet. So that's pretty high. Yeah. I thought I was gonna like be really sick and I ended up getting sick and it was hard to breathe there. So I'd like walk five steps and be like out of breath. So I wasn't used to it. Yeah. But it's really pretty. It's really like old Spanish colonial type looking place and everything's very hilly yeah yeah it's one of the oldest cities in South America because the Spanish settled it forever ago to mine silver was it, I think it was the 1500s anyway it's it's really old and it is it's all it looks kind of very European because downtown Potosí is all built by the Spanish it was a lot of fun we we really like um, touring churches and so we were able to see a couple of churches while we were there. One of them was really cool um, because we got to go to the top, like the roof of the church, and it was pretty big. Yeah. We got to like just see all of Potosi, which was really pretty, and I really liked that church tour. Yep. Yesterday there was sun and there was rain Beauty in the Monday And as the light startled our eyes We let go of disguise And now there's something in the air And a sparkly shimmer
mountain. It's right behind us. Right behind us. You can see the little mountain and the big mountain. Cerro Chico and Cerro Rico. Yeah, we're here uh, touring this church called San Francisco. Yeah, the San Francisco Cathedral, which is the oldest church in Bolivia, they said. They said it was in the 1500s, I think it's 1527. And there are still three uh, Franciscan monks that live here. So it's part convent, part church. It's a pretty cool church. My favorite part is the big shingles that they, ugh, that they made by using their thigh. And you can see them right here. So all these shingles are all different because everyone has different size of thighs. <laughs> yeah. And she said 70% of them are still original from the 1700s is when they put them on. There's a lot of them. Yeah, so they held up pretty well. Yeah. Oh, the sun is so bright. <laughs> <laughs> are you still filming? Yeah. Did you show the church over there? Yeah, there you I did. can see another church. It was also old, but then they had to rebuild it because the whole thing fell down. So it's not as old anymore as it used to be. But yeah, that was, that was a lot of fun. I like seeing the insides of old churches too. Um, also, while we were at Posey in Posey, we also got to visit some of the families that Stephen met while he was on his mission. And there is one family we met that we were able to make pizza with her. That yeah. was kind of fun. Vamos a ir a la baña. Yeah. She's gonna go wash the cheese. No. Parasite water. <laughs> we're gonna make pizza. Thank you. We're baking it. <laughs> oh yeah, gracias. Oh, gracias. Our pizza's all done. Um, we also got to meet probably one of the favorite, my favorite families that I met. So we just got done eating pizza, and then we went to go visit another family, and I don't remember the, their, the Castro the family. The Castro family, 
and they lived like more in the countryside, I guess you could say, so there's lots of dogs. And we made it to their house, and this little boy actually like walks, like comes out, and he sees Steven, and he gets really excited, so he goes inside, I'm guessing he's probably like telling people, his name was Luis. Right? Yes. And then he comes back, and and then he's just like, Steven, and gives him a big hug. And I was impressed that he still remembered you, because you hadn't seen him in a, a few years. Yeah, and he was only like four or five when I was in Bolivia. But he was so excited to see him. And then they let us in, and we go into this, like, this tiny house, and, like, the whole family, like, all the aunts and uncles, <laughs> like, everyone and their dogs are there. And they're eating this big lunch. And we're like, oh no, we just ate lunch, they'll probably have us eat food, which they did, which was really nice, but we were so full. Yeah. We negotiated down to one plate from yes, two. Yes, so that we could share. <laughs> yeah, we said, oh, we just ate. And so they said, oh, we'll just share one then, which we did. But that was, that was a lot of fun. I was glad we got to see them. They also own a little store and they make empanadas. So in the morning we went and ate their breakfast empanadas, which I love. They're my favorite breakfast food. I miss them a lot. And so it was really good to be they able to good. eat them after so many years. <laughs> Oh, are you taking video? Yeah, yeah. I was video. Oh. Did you get a good video? Yeah. That's our friend, the baby. Another family that we also met was another Pinchinista you had. Yeah, I went to my Pinchinista's house, Christina, and then her daughter Soledad, and we saw Soledad, her husband Ariel, and then they have two babies now that I'd never met before. And that was fun. We got to go, we ate kalapulcra with them, which is like the traditional Potosi soup, which they heat by, they serve it with like a hot lava rock in it. So that's how they heat up the soup, by putting these hot lava rocks in the soup. And then it's just kind of like a spicy soup. It kind of reminds me of like enchilada yeah. or taco soups that we have here. It's so good. I loved it. It was really good. They also have like little bits of fried pork in it, which I think are really, really tasty. And it was nice because Posi was much colder than Cochabamba. Yeah. Since we're so high in elevation. So it was really nice to drink soup on a cold day. Yeah. So supposedly this head behind me, you can see it. Yeah. Look, I'm doing a video of the head. You wanna be in the video with the head? You got a video of the head. So supposedly no one knows where this head came from. It's kind of creepy. And Steven said that sometimes if you cover your eyes, one, your, if you cover half, one, his, half face. his face, one side will look happy, one side will look angry. Did you do it, Steven? I did it, but I, I can't really see it. It looks different to me, but I can't even tell which side's supposed to look like happy. And yeah, I tried, it, I tried it too, and I can't tell either, so I don't know if that's actually legit. 